Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. So today I'm going to show you the setup in my super functional happy, wait, I don't think it's really a happy planner. It's, it's like mini happy planner size, but there's only a couple of things in here that is happy planner. So, um, most of the stuff is from Jane's Agenda. This beautiful vegan leather cover, um, is from Jane's Agenda. And almost everything inside is Jane's Agenda. Um, it, well, I take that back. I, because I switched, um, I switched from a classic size to the mini. And when I did that, I wasn't able to buy all my inserts again from Jane's Agenda. So most, some of, a lot of these are printables from Etsy. And I will link them below um, because I don't have all of the names and shop shop names and whatnot so I will just link all the inserts below so you can find them so Jane's agenda Jane's agenda Jane's agenda um, this little pin this thing that is holding my pin uh, my adhesive pin uh, holder the adhesive pin holder came from Amazon the plastic piece holding it is a chopped down cutting mat from the Dollar Tree and you can even tell that I cut this with a regular single hole punch so you the Dollar Tree cutting mats you can cut with scissors you can cut on your Cricut there is a cutting mat setting on your Cricut just FYI if you did not know that um, depending on how sharp your blade is you may have to run it through twice so don't unload it just Check it if it doesn't cut all the way through because your your blade's old. Just hit the C again and it'll you know, it'll recut exactly where it cut before, and that should do it. Um, again, depending on how old your blade is, you may have to to, to do that twice, two or three times. But yeah, so I actually just used a um, hole punch, like a regular single hole punch, and then just cut the slits for my mushroom stems. And I mean, I made this years ago. I mean, I haven't been in a happy, in a, in a mini, excuse me, a mini, not a, in a mini since 2019, I think. So, and it's 2024 now. So, yeah. I do have this old Happy Planner sticky notes dashboard. I love these sticky notes. I wish they stuck better, but it is what it is. Um, then we jump into my planner and, uh, if I don't, if you want to know where a dashboard is, it's probably Jane's Agenda, unless I say otherwise. So I'm not going to tell you where all of them are from because they're Jane's Agenda. This is from the planner spot. I actually blew it up and made it a little larger um, in Canva. And yeah, because the one that she had wasn't an actual mini size, it was something else. So I put it in Canva and made it bigger so I could read it because I'm getting old and can't read small print. I think this uh, overview thing is from uh, Squired Plants and I'm actually going to go to the next page because my son, all of his doctor's appointments are on, or physical therapy and doctor's appointments are on the other page for January. Um, right now it's being used for all his physical therapy appointments as like a running list so I can keep track of those because he had a major illness in December and um yeah it was in, in ICU we spent December in the hospital and or rehab and yeah he's learning to walk again um in a nutshell um he had a or has is recovering from um Guillain-Barre syndrome and he's also severely autistic and nonverbal. Both of my boys, if you're new here, both of my kids are, um, and I say kids loosely because they are um, 22 and 20. Um, so yeah, they're both severely autistic. Um, my oldest has some vocabulary, can speak some. The youngest does not speak. Um, so anyhow, the important dates insert. Again, I'll link this below. Um, I actually just ordered, these will be replaced. I just placed an order, um, like 
Thursday. This is, yeah, yesterday. So I just placed an order yesterday for another vegan leather cover in peacock teal and some other stuff from Jane's Agenda. And I ordered some monthly calendars um, for my business, for my little Etsy shop slash and all my social media things. Um, so the, these will be replaced with the Jane's Agenda ones when those come in. So I'm not filling these out. Or I might fill them out just to kind of get some things. But this is like a to-do section, I think, on her inserts. I just like those better. Um, so anyhow, I did do that. And I did buy the daily sheets. I'll get to that just shortly. Um, again, this is a Peanuts Planner, Co Peanuts Planner Co. insert. I put in um, Canva and made it bigger for my happy planner. For my, I'm going to just keep calling it a ha mini happy planner because old habits die hard. Anyhow, so this was a fold out. So, and I made it into um, what, two, three pages. Yeah, a three page thing. So, it's got January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, two months per page. Um, so I plan on using this to um, track holidays and so I can like look ahead and see what holidays are coming up so I can get ideas for sticker sheets to put into my shop. Um, my shop is purely printable uh, stickers at this point. I'm, I have a, one insert and I will get to that shortly that I do plan on adding. Um, so this is the quarterly... Um, goals section from Jane's Agenda. I'm going to pull this out so you can see it fully. I have not filled it out. Um, December was in the hospital. January was survival mode, trying to get him into doctor's appointments and into therapy and all the things. Um, getting all the things that we needed for him to be at home and to be able to take care of him. Um, so I, and I've actually decided I'm not even going to set goals at this point for Q01. It's survival mode at this point. So come Q, I almost said Q4, on Q2 in, in April. So this month I will be setting up goals. Um, I am part of the HB90 um, goal setting group. Um, if you haven't done that, I highly recommend that you do. Um, I can go over that in more detail in a different video. But yeah, so I'm gonna set up my goals with the HB90 system and use this as my overview because this works. I, I use her system to set my goals and then I move it over into these things because this is how my brain thinks. So if I can set up my, my April, May, June, um, put in like important dates, like, so these are days that I probably won't be working or working all day, working a quote unquote normal day. Um, and then I can break down and figure out my projects and I'll just put a list of projects here and then notes on the back. The next section is my projects section. Most of this is just personal. I do have some or had some um, work ones, but we'll see. Sorry, my phone. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm I probably I might move on to this. I have a lot of that set up in Notion, so some of it like. YouTube stuff, um, like social media stuff, it's just easier to keep it in Notion so that while I'm setting that up, like while I'm uploading my videos, I have the, like some of the information that I need um, there already. So I know where to, to grab it. It's just easier to grab from there. But what I'm using is, so let's see here. So I found this project sheet. Let me see if I can find a blank one. Um, this project sheet was what I started using, um, and it's okay. It has a place for projects, meeting notes, um, dailies, like you can use it for different, different things or whatever, and it would make a good daily sheet. I don't do meetings, so I don't know. Um, if anyone out there is watching that has special needs kids and they're on IEPs, this would be a good IEP meeting notes thing, so you could, you know, put you know, the name of the thing, who's, I would put like, who's attending here, um, goal, like any, I don't know, how would I do this? It depends, I guess, because if we're, if, if everything's going smooth, 
like just like the benchmarks and goals that we want to get and any additional notes. If things aren't going smooth, which we've had that happen, I would put, you know, what the issues are. Um, like maybe put, you know, the issue, what the school wants to do or what they say they're going to do and what they want me to do and then any additional notes of things that need to be followed up when um, that would actually be a good insert for that. However, I am, I've been trying to use different, a different type of method um, in my, so here I'll walk you through, I'll show you just a quick setup of my planner setup project. So I filled this out, I put, you know, like what I know I needed, my monthly, daily, yearly, my sections I know I needed or wanted in here, dividers, how many dividers and top and side tabs I wanted. Um, I kind of wrote an outline for a, a routine here at the bottom and the back. See, this is where this sheet didn't really start to not work for me is I, instead of having another sheet like this, I wanted, I needed a to-do section. I just made more notes on like how I wanted my sections to work and stuff because I, at that point I was still trying to, um, figure out what divide or what inserts I wanted. So these checklist inserts work better for me. Um, so I've got some of those. The new ones will be printed from the Jane's, the quad ones will be printed from Jane's agenda. She doesn't have any long ones like this. So this will continue to be like this in the future. Well, until I run out of the ones that are printed, that I've already have printed and cut. So yeah, so then I just did my, my budget section. I made a list of inserts that I needed or wanted. Um, and then like just the different things that I needed to write in there. I So yeah, I could go through, write, brain dump it, and then check it off as I went through and done said things. Um, and some of this I haven't checked off, but yeah. So you kind of get an idea. Um, one of the things I think I'm going to do moving forward is use this uh, flex notes from Jane's agenda so I can have you know my thing here uh, so in the future I'll probably be using this flex notes insert um, so I can have my my uh, thing here she did a whole video I'll link it below but yeah so I think she had this is like stuff that needs to be stuff that needs to be done or got to start said project. So like when I, when my closet rod broke and I couldn't get it, I, you know, I needed to buy, um, this, the, I need to figure out a new closet system. And then I had to go buy a closet rod and like, so I couldn't start said project until I had the closet rod and all the screws and stuff right so so that the, those sorts of things would go here the actual things and if you're going to delegate you have like things here that you could do notes you know additional notes and then the back and this is where i think um this will come in handy is it has the two columns so you can make your list of things you need to do um this is notes on um some sticker papers I want to do a video on sticker papers. But yeah, so then if I need extra um, paper, I can either do a line paper or dot grid paper or a checklist after that, should I need it. Um, that is the plan. So that is my project section. We'll see how that works and that probably will be tweaked as we work more and more on this. So let me go ahead and pull this out. So this is in my routines tracker. If I don't think I have a blank one. No, I do not. So again, I used, um, I was watching um, My Moxie, I think it's My Moxie Plans or My Moxie Dreams. I will um, make a note of that and link her channel down below. But I was watching some of her things and she said that she, some of her videos, and she was showing this and she actually puts it in um, Microsoft Word and types it up. So I was like, oh, why didn't I think of that? 
Um, so that's what I did. I put it in Word and I went in and put, because it has this up here is usually blank and I don't know if you can see the teeny tiny little boxes. So I lined up what the day of the week was and then I highlighted this. I tried to highlight it in Word and it didn't, it was too light to print. And then I typed in the things that I wanted to track. So this is your daily tracker for the month. This is your weekly and your monthly. And I was like, oh my God, that's exactly what I need. And it's perfect, you know, it doesn't feel too cramped even being in a mini. So this is my like daily routines, my um, AM and PM routines that I'm trying to get back into that we've gotten all off track. Um, so it's not just, so some of it is cleaning, some of it is not, some of it is my personal care self-care stuff. And then this is my planner routine. And of course, this is still a work in progress. But yeah, and I've not been keeping it up to date. And then I got on Canva and I, um, no, did I do this in Canva or Word? I don't remember, but you can do the same in either one. Um, and I just made a detailed cleaning list. So I just found my old Fly Lady cleaning list down here in my drawer. And I just basically trans um, put those into this list until, and again, this could be a work in progress. So this is just, um, and I can print more as I need them. So yeah, those are there. This is my routine, AM, PM routines that I kind of, uh, worked out. And I think those are, they're like taking my youngest to the bathroom every, you know, multiple times a day is a thing right now. Um, I've got, I mean, I've always had respect for people in a wheelchair because I know, like, life's just a little harder because of just this, that, or the other, right? Like, you can't, yeah, the people who actually can't move their legs, I, or arms, or whatever, I have respect for you, like, you wouldn't believe because, yeah, I mean, life, like I said, you just can't reach certain things, right? Okay, I forgot to go through and mark some of this off, so there might be some pauses in this video. Okay, so the first section here is I have a 2023 medical overview. So I just plan on coming back through here and writing in when we saw the doctor last and that, those sorts of things. Anything medical, um, December's obviously not filled in. Um, so I can fill those in so we can... Uh, you know, go over those or have, so I'll have those in my planner because we're being asked about those quite frequently. These are, let me see here. So these are sleep trackers. I was trying to update this for February. I messed it up horribly. I got all the days on the wrong day. So I reprinted some more so I could fix it. So this is the sleep tracker and this is not the actual flow of this. Let's go over here. So this will be the beginning of this section. These are inserts that I made um, here. Um, let me go ahead and put this over here. There we go. So we start off with a notes page. I went ahead and marked it March 2024. This is my uh, medication and vitamin tracker. This is my symptoms tracker. Um, yeah. That's been a thing. Um, so this is my symptoms tracker. And then we go into my um, pain tracker. And I made this on Canva a long time ago. Um, so this is like a scale, a pain severity scale. Um, uh, yeah, so, uh, sorry. <laughs> Brain fog, um, so this is a pain severity scale. So, because I've noticed, like, I've have, um, sciatica, like, a yeah, some low back issues, and, um, you know, it goes all the way down my leg. It's a wonderful thing. And then the icing on the cake, because I'll also have muscle spasms with it, because, you know, it's not bad enough that just the one, we have to have both. And I... I can't even think straight when I'm in that much pain. And so this has been really helpful for me to have so that I can come here and look and then give a number, put a number to it. So um, basically on here, I have all the medications plus like 
my anti-inflammation my, and my muscle spasm uh, medication, Tylenol, Motrin, those sorts of things. So if I know if I took even a Tylenol or a Motrin that there's something, some sort of pain going on. So then I would come here to see what it was and then here to see how bad it was, just if that makes sense. Okay, so this I kind of move around. It's ideally supposed to stay in the front, but I've been moving it around just so that I can um, look at it and refer to it while I'm filling things out daily. Um, so in the other side has a tiredness fatigue scale, which is basically the same as the, the thing, only it refers to your tiredness and fatigue. So then we go into my sleep trackers. I'm just going to put my hand over this so it doesn't glare. Um, so then we go into my sleep tracker. So my Fitbit gives me a sleep score, the hour sleep, um, how much time in deep sleep, and how much time I spent awake. So let me spell at that E there. So then I just go through here and fill that out. Um, then here it's, I've got my energy, and I've been hard. I think I'm just going to do high, medium, and low. Like, medium would be, like, normal, I suppose. I guess I should put normal, um, low, and high. And so I haven't been good about marking those. Um, I mean, it's a subjective type of thing, I suppose, anyways. Um, but anyhow, um, I've been really, so when I first made this, this, this looked like, yeah, I was pretty tired. I think it was the medication I was on, some medication I was on, but this looked reasonable, but now I'm looking at it, I'm like, wow, because I'm off said medication and I feel good, but I will link it below. So I think I might still use that, but maybe modify it to where... Because I think this is more of an extreme condition type thing. I don't know. Um, anyhow, or I'll just mark my zeros. I haven't quite figured this section out. So I have a sleep thing and then an energy thing. So the sleep is obviously in gray. And I haven't been um, marking the, the energy levels. And then we move over here to, I said mood tracker, but honestly, if I'm being honest, this is all pretty much perimenopause symptoms. Um, so I wanted to track that, and I need to update this, but yeah. So, yeah, this is all this. This is a whole thing. The brain fog and the lack of concentration are, have been very real things. I think some of it's been the medication I've been on to help, but it doesn't help if you're worse than than where you started. So anyhow, we're going to track that stuff, see how that goes. And then my blood pressure log, because I've been having some issues with that. And then my Tristan tracker, because he's been having, obviously, lots of issues. And uh, yeah, that's been a thing right there. Now, the other thing that I have not added yet, but, um, let me clip these together. The other thing that I have not added that I need to add or want to add is, um, my medication list. So important information. So when we were in the hospital, I actually have, um, and I can't really show them because they're filled out with past information. I carry this. I had it in a nice Nautique cover. Um, but yeah, I have this and inside you see I have it listed for both my kids and myself and it lists all the medication that we're on and some other pertinent information in here. Let me see if I can, well, I can tell you what was in here. Um, we don't have any drug allergies, so that's not in here, but if we did, it would be. Um, okay, so like, um, their doctor's information, their pharmacy information, um, medications that have been discontinued, and like some major health events that's happened. Um, so I was able to just take this little piece of paper out, 
hand it to this little skinny mini piece of paper out, hand it to them because I had all their medication information. And all the nurses are like, you need to sell these. And so um, I'm going to be making some and I'm gonna walk you guys through on how to make it yourself. If, I'm gonna make it super affordable, like a dollar. It's just basically will cover my, my fees to list it on Etsy is what that will cover. And it will go on sale <laughs> too. Um, yeah, um, I don't know how far down, how, how on sale I can make it, but it will go on sale when I run sales. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I'm going to add that in here. Um, I also have these, um, doctor visits, um, notes, that one, okay, all of these have been filled, wrote one, but these doctor visit note pages in here. Um, with that, and these have been helpful. These have been really helpful. Um, I've been so <laughs> in the last month since we got out of the hospital, we've also had COVID and um, some other things. And then the next thing that I have in here is my notes section. So, this is an example. Sorry, I'm just trying to find a clip to clip these together. So this is an, is an example as to how I use the note section. Um, I usually will write a, I'll put in an arrow down for incoming calls and an arrow up for outgoing calls. Um, the, the date, the time, the person's name, the company that they're with, and any notes. So this is usually like say an incoming call. Outgoing calls, I would write this, you know, so it'd be like this, an outgoing, date, time, person's name, company, and then let's say, you know, Susie answers the phone, but I need to talk to Jane. So I would say, okay, I talked to Susie um, at blah, blah, blah. Um, and I left a message for Jane. Okay, so Susie said that I needed to talk to Jane because Jane's in charge of blah, blah, blah. And then I have that here. And then I will just literally just take and let me not use a fountain pen for this. I'll just write, just put a note here. So once I'm done, like let's say that I've made the appointment with Susie or whoever, and this is so let's say that this has been taken care of and it's all done and I don't need it anymore, I'll just mark through it. Um, that way I still have a record of it and I know where it's at, depending on how long I need it. Sometimes I, it's, so I still have this record and I'll keep it. It may not be in my planner, I have an archive planner that I keep here, so I will move it over there. Um, and then, you know, every so often, every few months, I go through it. If I still need it, then I keep it. Um, honestly, I try to keep it for at least a year because you never know. I have had things from three years come back up and, you know, I've needed that information. And then the second, the other section within my health section is the contact section, which is obviously like doctors, um, doctors and specialists. And um, right now we've got medical equipment. Uh, so I've got the medical, the places that my son's medical equipment, his uh, wheelchair and uh, medical bed and all those sorts of things where, where those came from. Um, and a place for notes. So I have all that contact information and a place for notes here. Um, and I may redesign these for more of a medical situation, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I will, you'll be seeing another video soon, hopefully. Um, then I have a development stay, uh, tab, which there's nothing in here right now. Just some old happy planner pages. I plan on writing down books I want to read. Um, yeah, not been too great about that, but... Um, no big deal. It's, it's been life right now, right? And then, of course, I've got my monthly, weekly, yeah, monthly, weekly, and dailies. Right now, I am just using, um, this monthly from, I don't remember who it's from, the line monthly. I do, let me flip to April. So, I've actually, put these here, I made this. I wanted the Jane's Agenda ones, but at this point I just can't afford to buy them. 
and I don't know that I will, to be honest, since I've got these and they are working and I've already got them printed and dated, or not dated, but I've got them printed and cut and all this stuff. So I probably won't buy those again, but hers were, the ones I had from hers was, this was a blank page with the monthly calendar on it. Um, and then this is a lot like hers. It's, it's a little different, not exactly the same. It's a monthly that's lined and it takes up pretty much the whole, like, takes up the whole two pages. So you've got lot, you've got as much real estate to write on in this monthly for a mini as you can, which I love. So, and that's how Jane, Jane, uh, Jane's, Jane's Agenda had, um, done hers. Um, hers, however, this has just lined paper on the back. Hers has a two section, like half the page is dot grid, and then half the page is two columns with a checklist. So like a home and a work, or however you want to use those. I add another page here, because on this page, on these pages, I line out my monthly goals and things I want to get done for the month, both home and work wise. And then my idea was to use this back page for my monthly review. And then, let me go back here to this week. So then I've been using these as weeklies. Um, and it's been working okay. Um, I've used this just as a long running to-do list and then any appointments we have here. Um, so this is like basically a breakdown of, of the projects and things I need to get done this week to hit whatever goal I'm trying to hit for the month. And then we go back here to my dailies and these will, now the weeklies and the dailies will be Jane's Agenda come March because I just ordered the daily 13s um, from her again because that was already in my budget. I already had budgeted for me to buy those every quarter because they're sold in quarters. So March, yeah, so February or January, February, March would have come in quarter one and then so on and so forth. So those will be done. Those will be done. Uh, in April. I will have the Jane's Agenda ones and I'll be using those. And she has a little weekly dashboard um, before Monday and all in hers. So those will change in, um, I keep wanting to say March and April. Those will change. My inbox section, which is a hot mess. Um, I do not, um, I don't really, I don't, I don't use an insert. I just write whatever random stuff. And some of this needs to be re put back in its proper spot within my planner like this. And, um, this probably needs to go on a projects page also. Um, but yeah, I, these need to be redone or re put wherever. And I just write whatever. So how my inbox system works um, I see a lot of people saying they have a to-do, a notebook, or whatever. I write everything in my inbox. If it's something that needs to get out of my head, I write it in my inbox. And then I come through here and I process it. Ideally, I want to use this, but it hasn't been working great for me. Um, it's just better for me to write whatever it is in my inbox. Um, like this note about finding spray paint disposal. Um, and I also just found out that I can't, um, so like right now I just thought about this, find, so I need to find electronics disposal and price for that. Apparently I, I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> lovely so this is stuff to clean out our, our project of cleaning out our garage so I will put those up front uh, probably when I do my planning for the week I will go through this um, at least week if not every few days and at least weekly I go through this and put things where they need to go so this section is not labeled but I have decided I'm probably going to make this like a list section like a grocery list things to buy list, like I 
this is a list here, so let's put that there. Um, of stuff that I need to buy. And I do kind of want to keep them on this little sheet so that I can put it in this. Because, like I said, I'm going to redo this. And I'm going to do a video on it. And I'm going to make my significant other one. My kid's dad. Um, this section will be for my Etsy shop stuff. Um, so, and I plan... I, I ordered a month on one page... And a week on one page, also from Jane's Agenda. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So hopefully I can map out my um, shop sales and my shop social media and when I need to release, the, or when I want to release my kits and stuff like that. Like, um, So I can map that out on the monthly. Because the way that, that the her, um, her month on one page and her week on one page... Um, Excuse me, they would, so your month on one page would be facing up on this side, and then your week on one page would be facing up. So it would be like, where did that week on one page go? So, yeah, it would be like, this. So you would have your week on one page, which is laid out different than this, and on the back is a dot grid page. Um, and then your month on one page is where it would be facing up on this side. Um, so I could be looking at the month and the week all at the same time. And I think that's going to be most helpful for me so I can kind of see where things are, if that makes sense. I'm still trying to figure out how to plan out social media and do all the things. Um, because I haven't been great at that um, in the past. And then this is just a random little um, reference section. I've got things measured out on this daily sheet. I've got a sticker storage book that I bought and I measured out those pages. I measured out this monthly page so that I can make myself boxes and whatnot. Um, these are fonts and stuff. Um, just random stuff like this. I'll probably move to, um, the, so this can probably go to my shop section. Because these are shop related notes. Um, and then we get into my finance, finance section. And let me see. So my finance section, I just have a year overview because my kids obviously have disability and their checks have been coming at weird times every month. Um, and so I'm trying to figure that out. I don't know. I think I know. This is another, this is the same calendar that is up here in my, um, you know, same calendar as, as this up here. Um, I've just got my bills mapped out on it. And then, I will show you what I've, because I have, well, I have it filled out, but I can not. So this is my budget plan. This is my budget, weekly, monthly, whatever, however long you want to use it for. So this is the budget. And then this is the weekly check-in sheets. I'm not, I'm, I'm also part of the Tom uh, Organized You. Um, if you're not familiar with her, go check her out. Elena is amazing. Elena, sorry, it's Elena. Um, she's awesome. She's, so, yeah. I'm still trying to figure this out. She does have a budgeting on paper course coming up later this month. Um, in, later in March. So, check that out. And then I've got a um, income tracker. And a expense tracker. I haven't got all my expense categories like fleshed out yet, but um, yeah, I can tell you my planner categories been a little crazy here lately. So yeah, there's that. Okay, and then back here I have a um, subs 
subscription tracker. Um, I do have um, one for my business stuff and then I have one for personal so that I can kind of see where the money's going um, on paper um, make sure everything's getting checked off and paid like it should. And then the other thing oh, that I have in here, oh, hang on. All right, and then the other thing that I have in here is a bills tracker. This is what I call my irregular bills. Um, so there are things that's only due either once a year or once every two months or three months or whatever. They're not due every month. Um, most of them are yearly for the most part. So like Skillshare and my nail license, um, I'm not gonna let go, let my nail license lapse. So I can just come in here, I highlighted, put the month, and then I'll come in and put the, the amount that it is. So the ones for August, or for the, not August, February, like January, February, March, April has been filled out with the amount. So I don't feel comfortable sharing those. And then back here is just my check registers. Um, and this is one that I made. Um, this is one that I made that was like the Jane's agenda. So I basically tweaked her transaction um, thing. Um, I went in and I added uh, what account it is because I keep track of my a couple of my credit card or I only have one credit card so I keep track of that because there were some things going wrong, weird on that account so I started keeping track of it just to you know make sure everything was on the up and up um the month and year so like February to March of whatever of 2024 my starting balance and then I can start doing this I think hers was laid out a little bit differently at the top and the um the lines were super close together I mean her lines are pretty close together yes so anyhow the lines sorry my camera just stopped um so her the lines were really close together it wasn't enough room for me to write um so I just kind of tweaked hers so if you want something like this I I will link hers down below um because here is one of her tip-ins this is the list of notes so it's got the checklist on the front and the dot grid on the back um, this was either a classic or a letter or half letter size um, that I just cut down because I had a bunch of them and I'm not going to rebuy them when I can just cut those down. But here is an example. So here's the happy planner, like so much to do insert. Um, and yeah, you can see her lines are closer together than the happy planner ones. So, um, let's see. Yeah, they're just a smidge closer, but I feel like that transaction one, like they were even closer together. I don't know, I don't know, because I don't know. I mean, I have went down to either a .5 or a .38 pen in this planner. Um, see, and I think it's even closer together. Actually, this isn't even a mini Happy Planner stuff, so this is a mini Happy... This was actually done for a mini. So, see, yeah, it's like really... What is this one back here? This this one here was also done for a mini. So, let, I'll show you. Yeah, it's like really, really... I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try to zoom in, so... There's the top. I'm just going to fold this because this is like my crazy. Because, um, yeah, her, her lines are definitely, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that. I will try to zoom in on my, when I edit this, so you guys can see how close, how much closer this line is compared to the, the Happy Planner. And I think this is the same. It should be the same. Yeah, it's the same. So her lines are are, cl way, are closer than the Happy Planners, and even this um, checklist. No, actually, no, it's not. It's the same. Okay. So yeah, I guess that would be closer together too than the Happy Planner. 
ones. Because here's the wild ideas thing that might be easier to see. Yeah. So, yeah, that is closer together. I will. Um, so this is so this is a dreams agenda. Um, you can either get it printed or pre pre printed, or you can do a printable with the flex notes. And then I've got this one. I think I did this as a printable because it just made the most sense. Um, so yeah, it's got the the months and the days up here, so you can just you know highlight what it is. And then it's dot grid here. And then just plain dot grid paper back here. And plain line paper from Jane's Agenda. And then my wild ideas. I really enjoyed the the wild, um, what do they call it when it first came out? Wild style. I mean, can you tell? I really enjoyed it. Um, so if you have any wild style stuff that you want to get rid of, let me know. All right, and then back here I've got this thing. I think this came from Live Love Posh, this card holder thing, which I plan on doing stuff with. And then these little happy planner, um, what are, I don't know what these are called, the pocket things that you can put pictures in. I want to put pictures of my kiddos in here. And then this is a happy planner page thing. I use this. I want to make it as a pretty, like this prettier, like as a writing board, but I use it as a writing board when I'm, you know, out and about. I just put this in and then whenever I need somewhere to write, I just write in here. And then the other thing that I have is the reflections journal from Jane's Agenda in the back that I just started. Um, so yeah, and it has this. I think this is available on her website also um, now. But yeah, so it's got a morning, midday, and evening check-in, and then uh, so your reflection of the day, of the entire day down towards the bottom. So, so that's half of it. So morning, afternoon, evening. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that. Um, so we'll see how that goes. That's, that was has been interesting. So that is it. That is my super functional for me mini Jane's Agenda Planner. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below and keep an eye out because I am going to show you how I set up both the, or finish setting up my health medical section in my mini and in the skinny mini. I'm, I'm actually going to have to cut it down. I'm going to make my husband a skinny mini and then I'm going to cut mine down to fit in my wallet. So stay, keep an eye out for that video also. Um, it should be here soon and I've got more to come. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and until next time, bye.